What's happening, everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. Happy Hump Day. It's the middle of the week, Wednesday. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the values of silver, gold, and copper. Uh, you know, all of them, to me, have a value. And I guess what's deeper than the value of it is the use of it, what you may use it for. And, and I guess when I put that into perspective of what am I going to use these for, you know, that's, that's one of those, uh, it doesn't matter if it's an everyday life or if it's in an SHTF scenario, I find that all of them have a value or a use in real real world application. So let's let's talk about a few things, some pricing and uh, and where we can utilize this information. So as of today, spot price gold one thousand nine hundred sixty four dollars an ounce, silver twenty three dollars and thirty eight cents an ounce. And copper, $3.67 a pound. Now, easily we can differentiate here, right? Copper is clearly the pennies of the group. Silver might be your dollars and gold is your $100, right? So that kind of gives you a perspective of this is a lot, this is a little, and this is very little. Now, you can't actually buy it at that price. That's just spot price. Uh, to actually get your processed, finished coins and rounds like we see here, the cheapest I found this morning was $2,056 for the gold, $2,732 an ounce for the silver, and $1.69 an ounce for the copper. And uh, and you might be like pirate, three sixty seven a pound, a dollar sixty nine. Yeah, this is this is the discussion we've had a lot on the channel. Uh, copper does have a value. This is one of those things that for a long time now, there's been the argument of why would you spend the money for it. Well, again. Copper, I've used it for a long time to make deals, make trades. And when you're talking about being able to get almost 20 of these for one of these, people are willing to play ball with that. That's a number that people go, hey, uh, yeah, let's do some copper instead. Now, what do you use these for? Again, it's not a monetary metal but it does have a dollar value. People have attached a value to it that you can really use. So copper does get traded uh, as a barter tool on the regular. There's a lot of channels. And again, myself, I've used it to make deals. And I've done videos and used copper to buy both silver and gold. <laughs> so copper does definitely have a value there. Silver, I've cashed in my stack several times now. Uh, it's one of those things that things happen. It's very liquid. It's very easy. Now, I'm not going to be able to take my coppers to just anywhere and they're going to give me money. I got to take this to a coin shop or somewhere that knows the value of it. Whereas silver, I can take to the pawn shop. I can take it to a jeweler. I can take it to a coin shop. Uh, there's a lot of places I can take silver. And, and same as silver, we have gold that is very, very fluid. Uh, I can take the gold pieces to all of the same places. I could take silver and even then some. Everybody wants gold. They will forever want gold. So it really is one of those things that you have different levels of liquidity by having different different items, different metals at different price points, right? So when I have an assortment of all of that, that gives me different options for different scenarios. 
Now, Copper Mutant, I don't know if you watch his channel. He has great content and he loves copper. He did make the point that there is approximately in the in the pre-82 pennies, 1982 and previous, uh, there is 95% copper. Approximately 11.3, 11.4, so 12 pennies. There is one ounce of pure copper in that. Now these pennies, you look at that and you go, ah, I'd rather have the copper than a, a palm full of pennies. And that's most people. I stack pennies. I like having the raw copper value. There is other numismatic value you can find with pennies. But for the most part, people are gonna choose this every time over this. And so while pennies have their place, Copper rounds, they tend to be a lot more productive when you're talking about having something that's liquid or tradable as an asset. And, uh, and that is a good value with the copper on that. But again, if I'm looking to an SHTF scenario, silver's great, right? We like the idea that we would be able to barter by, you know, the financial system if they ever got rid of the dollar bill. Uh, or any of that, we would still have purchasing power with silver. Uh, but at the same time, at the same time, you got to get people that play ball. I mean, this, this does cover, you know, it's a fractional amount and it would cover purchases that are smaller. I've done some videos discussing what you might be able to get. An ounce of silver might get you a can of spam in a bad situation. Or you might be able to buy some tools. Whereas maybe you need gold because you want to buy a generator or something like that. The other thing in an SHTF scenario, I don't want to carry a bunch of copper or silver on my back. Whereas I could have a pocket full of gold and that would go a long, long way. So they all have uses. They all have premiums. And so I guess this video is just to say, you know, we pay premiums on everything. Everything that we come across, they all have a premium. We don't get any of it for spot. And that's just part of it. And so when people look at the copper rounds and go, buck 69, it's not worth it. Well, guess what? These sell for two to three dollars a piece in most circles. So that is pretty worth it. There is nothing here that you can double, that you could 50% or double your, your value in most circles. So that is valuable in its own right, right? So copper does have a use and a value. Silver, of course, everybody loves it. Gold, everybody loves it even more. So those are just my thoughts. Uh, silver, gold, copper, I like them all for an SHTF scenario. Uh, although gold is definitely king, silver, I think, becomes the workhorse and is very utilitarian in getting things done. Tell me what your thoughts are. Do you stack silver, gold, and copper? Now, I have left platinum off, and I realize that platinum for me, I had platinum, selling platinum, I got hosed every time. Every time they wanted to pay back of spot. And it was just one of those things and only very particular places would even deal on the platinum. So I don't know, have it in my stack any longer because it was hard to move. Now, I get it, you can still find places and you can still move it, but I don't wanna pay big premiums, which Platinum has, and then end up having to lose every time I sell Platinum. Lastly, Silver and Cigars, if you know him, uh, give him a shout out. He has a community post up, and I am in the running for the best tops card. Me, Liberty Stacking, and I think AG 177, I don't know. I don't know who it is. Silverstruck maybe. Anyway, there's three of us. Uh, go over and vote. It's just fun. It's a community thing. 
Uh, this is my original card, the first one, the Pirate Chef one. Uh, go vote, give him a little bit of support. That would be very cool. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Tell me your thoughts on metals, why you value them, what you would use them for. We'll talk to you real soon. Pirate out, arg. <laughs>